Hello everyone, welcome back to our Plays play Dead Cells, it's podcast time, podcast, podcast, uh, by saying mic time, let's see if we can remember how to play this game, uh, oh, I like this change, and I also like, yeah, let's try this out, um, this is, we might find ourselves better off with a, the, maybe a, a purple shield we can find, I do know that there are at least one or two red shields, although we may have to unlock them, but that's okay. Uh, we've got a couple of things actually on the collector's plate, so to speak, um, that are... That was just really, really bad. I <laughs> completely mind flooded myself uh, by accidentally charging at the enemy there. Um, that was good. Redeeming myself immediately. There's a couple of things in the collector's collection, so to speak, that um, that, that only take a couple of cells to unlock. So maybe we can play around with those. I don't know if they're any good for us, but they exist. So there's that. Okay, that didn't work too well. Um, but yeah, we don't play this game to talk about the game, although I might do. So don't judge me. This is interesting, and I'm going to do it. It's been a long time since we tried any run that wasn't uh, shield-based. And the other thing I'm thinking here is that, um, although, mind you, <laughs> I'm pretty much guaranteeing that there's going to be an invisible baddie that now I, I can't protect myself against. Um, not just have we not really run a non-shield run for a very long time, but I think in the last episode or similar i was talking about how it's very unlikely to make a purple run work and that's because i didn't know how to uh, i don't really have a good grasp of it i i understand that you know um survival with shields is is grand and everything um and then oh no nice uh Survival with shields is one thing, and that's all very well and good. We understand that um, the <clears throat> health regen of, of that particular build is, is second to none. And then on top of that, you've got um, the, the raw damage output of a, a, a red build, but there's nothing obvious in the purple build, and there's not very many obvious pieces of equipment. Take advantage of the purple builds, except for things like... Uh, okay, that was a bit of a waste. Um ranged weapons that i don't really care too much about so now that we've got a change made to my literal favorite weapon in the whole wide world which is that it is purple now as well as um red we can probably actually start thinking about um a, a purple build being viable there is another place to go which was worrying me because <laughs> i didn't get hit that early on in this floor I've only killed 17 things since then, which doesn't seem like enough. Hoping to make my way up here without coming a cropper of an invisible thing that I can't see. Uh, and the fact that, of course, we now have not just the... Uh, oh. Not just the... the uh, what am I saying? No! I thought I was down! I thought I was still on the thing that let me do what I wanted. <laughs> there you go. Oh, well, we ruined that one. That's okay. I thought I could jump through this little hole here, but I wasn't on it. Uh, I mind flooded myself once again. What was I talking about? <laughs> who knows? Who cares? Uh, give me randoms. The owl I actually really like. The owl. Come on. The owl I really like. I think I'm going to take it over Crusher, even though Crusher is purple. I'm going to try and maybe make a purple run work, although we haven't found a scroll yet, so maybe I don't have to. I don't, I don't really need a war spear. Of any description, thank you. I am more than good enough with this particular weapon, provided I can actually get the, the ice thingy to work, which has been a bit of an issue recently, as you can tell. Well done, me. Okay. Um, door open, too far. So we're going to try and, yeah, I think purple can work. The thing I don't know about purple, of course, is what the mutations are that are available to us if we go full perps. You can't get a shot out fast enough to freeze those things 
Uh, except in a situation like that. I was about to say where um, maybe they just didn't see you. So we're going to try a full tactics build, or at least a, a tactics heavy build. Because we haven't, um, the thing is I know how to use the survival build to regenerate HP. Stuff like that. I know how to use the brutality build to reduce our cooldowns and, and just do extra damage and, and you know spread damage around or, or extend the the, the damage um, bonuses that we have i do not know what we have available to us in purple um, and i do know that first of all we should probably have an owl with us at all times and secondly i i, I know that we want to have all purple equipment if we're going to go for an all purple actual build um, so we didn't make either of these, unfortunately. You know, it's the first run of a very long time. Uh, quite often. Ooh, that, well, there you go. And there's a melee weapon that we can uh, get a similar thing out of. I haven't actually unlocked it yet, so there you go. Let's reforge. I would like to replace the Assassin's Dagger with a better Assassin's Dagger, of course. Um, that's cheap enough to reforge. There you go, that's okay. Ammo mutation don't apply to this. Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to leave these for now. The, the bird and the other thing, the grenade thing, do, do work with, together with one another as I stand. Um, decrease skill cooldowns for each enemy killed without using melee attacks, so it's not going to help me. Or there's a bomb to appear when you kill an enemy with non-melee attack. It's in deploy skill. Do you think the owl counts as a deploy skill? So tactics are really ge geared at you not being near the enemies, which is interesting because, of course, uh, oh, well, I might as well. Um, that's very interesting because my melee weapon is a tactics weapon, which means I should really couple it with a bow, which I nearly did, and then chose not to for some reason. We're going to be uh, hard pressed not to take any damage for sixty kills on this floor if we. Do you manage to take no damage for 30 kills on the previous floor? Uh, but we'll do our best. And uh, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, I, I don't think there's a, another opportunity for... Um, I don't think there's another opportunity for a timed door to, to do us any good here. And of course, the bird is just going to do all my work for me. Isn't it? The bird might count as a non-melee attack, and I do not know, because there's nothing indicating to me right now... <laughs> whether this counts as a deployed skill in terms of uh, my damage, although my damage has gone up quite a lot. I don't know if that's just because this run is now better in general. So I guess it remains to be seen. We'll, we'll just wait and see. We'll just keep playing and see what happens. Anyway, this is a this is podcast game, so why don't we talk about something uh, relevant to us all, i.e., hey, how was your weekend? Um, not great. <laughs> also, I took uh, quite a lot of damage just now. Ow! Stop that. Um, I've been... <sighs> it was a long weekend, or a, a medium length weekend. What do you call a long weekend when uh, the... Yeah, I don't need that yet. What do you call a long weekend when you only have one of the two days? That would be my question to you, because, you know, a long weekend, in, in my opinion, or at least in my understanding, is when you have the Monday and the Friday off as well. Um, I didn't have the Monday and the Friday off. I just had the Friday off and really have it off. <laughs> have it off. It's funny because it means sexual intercourse. Um, I didn't really have Friday off either because we went to the hospital. Um, we were in the hospital. It was a, a preordained hospital visit. We're, were we not? Um, and it was, it was a routine procedure. It wasn't for anything of great import, except um, being a hospital visit for Jen. It, it made a bit of a difference, um, simply because other people probably wouldn't have gone under general for that procedure. Not to disparage. Uh, Please, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say, hey, I'm, I'm not trying to embarrass. I'm not trying to share too much. I'm just trying to say, look, some people are different. Um, oh, yeah, it enrages it. I forgot about that. Uh, and Jen's one of them. 
so we had to go to the hospital a very early time of day and therefore we decided that it would be prudent to uh, find ourselves a hotel for the night. Reason being, we needed to be at the hospital at 7 o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah, I can manage that. I can tell you I can manage that because I managed it. Um, 7 o'clock, so we got a hotel. And, oh my goodness. I learned today, in fact, that my mistake was to book ourselves into a Britannia hotel, which is, in general, a terrible, terrible idea. Um, apparently, Britannia are not unknown for, I think it's a child trafficking or just human trafficking. You know, you get the idea. Uh, un, ungood <laughs> uh, behavior, very, very non-dapper type sort of things going on here. So... I can also just do this, look. Oh, I nearly got hit by that. Saw it at the last moment. I'd much rather fight these, um, these things that pop out of the ground than those things that I should have been able to see. <laughs> and these scorpions that pop out of the ground are much more easy to fight. No! How dare you. Than, um, <laughs> uh-oh. careful than the, the the birdies that show up and shoot bloody arrows at you for no damn reason kill it there we go you done that is a sadist stiletto which i am not sure about oh, i am sure about hang on hang on hang on hang on i think this is better the numbers are better to begin with first we get an upgrade to the thing that it is made of and then 50% damage and max HP, colorless, high level. Yes, uh, we can't sell that. Uh, yeah, apparently, because they're so poorly run and, and easy to mess around, uh, you know, you can, you can, I guess you can decide for yourself. Oh my God, did not expect that. I forgot that these elites have these new skills. Do not make me happy <laughs> at all. Um, Sure, why not? That's a shame because that knocked me down from 60 to none. So that really took the wind out of myself. Not 60, 30 to, to nothing. So that took the wind out of myself. I didn't even have to go that way until later. So I could have done better. Um, the, the place was absolutely horrible. Um, I, I cannot describe to you the poorness of this place. Uh, let, let's begin. First of all, I've been there before and we didn't realize that this was the same place. So, kind of on us, we went to Booking.com, and of course Booking.com just lists hotels that are available um, at the time. How do we get up there? Do that. Might as well kill some baddies. Uh, also, I will heal up now I think about it. I'll be able to reach this from here. Now I can do max H with max HP, I can do more damage. Ow! I could just completely fail to press the right button in case I wonder what happened. Give me my owl back. Um, uh, again, I'm all over the place. I do try to make this a bit of a podcast, but playing the game in the background is not as background for me as it might be for you. As you can probably tell, um, or, or at least understand, because I, I do have to occasionally concentrate to actually <laughs> apply you know, my, my fingers to the to the goal of fighting the baddies roll run get out of here all right cool uh there's money do i care about it kind of probably maybe it would be nice to be able to get a couple of extra things uh where is it i know somewhere don't even know where the entrance to that is we'll try the we, yeah we've been to this hotel before it's the britannia hotel in hampstead heath hampstead hampstead heath Never go to a Britannia hotel is the lesson I've learned. Nope, not that. Uh, I didn't learn this lesson from having gone to the Britannia hotel. I learned this lesson having recounted the tale to somebody who knew that I shouldn't go to Britannia hotels. All of them. Right? This is every Britannia hotel. Do not enter. <laughs> abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Abandon not. Is it abandon hope all ye, or is it abandon all hope ye? Because I thought it was the former, and now I'm never quite sure. 
Uh, yes, we will do purples because it is our main build. The oh, hello. The the place is an absolute state. Let, let's start with uh, maybe some indicative. That was really poor. Did you see that? I rolled away from the shot and therefore rolled into the other one. Um, maybe hopefully this is indicative to you of the state of the thing. We had to pay extra for a window in the hotel room. A window. As in the thing that opens the hole in the wall that lets light in and air. Um, yeah, that costs extra. Now, the only reason we chose this hotel is that it allows dogs and we had to take the dog because we didn't have anyone who could look after the dog. Why has this got a star on it? It's probably that star there. I don't care. Uh, for the short, uh, the short notice and the, the time that we needed. So, we have to take a look with us. It's a bit of a liability this month, I'll be honest, but she is in training as a as a, an assistance dog, which means we'll be able to take her anywhere that we want to in future, but at present, this is not the future, so there's an hole in the wall there, don't like that. Do not like holes in wall. Unless they're going to give me money, but usually they don't just give you out. Often they will complain about giving you money. Uh, you have to, you know, already have the money and then they just sort of access it for you which is a bit rude in my opinion I, I would like very much if money were a little bit easier to come by there you go um <clears throat> paid for a window we paid for this window um which you know as you do because do you want a window in your room yes or no well thank you for asking but it's kind of rude of you it's rude of you to ask simply because mm, the option of not having a window is preposterous it's a hotel. Maybe they'd phrase it as you can have a discount if you want the window without the room without a window. That would make more sense, right? We've got a couple of rooms without windows. If you're not that bothered, you know, you can have a bit of a discount because most people don't want them. most people prefer to have the uh, could get a ranged weapon. Should have picked up ranged weapons from the. Uh, should have selected ranged weapons, is what I was trying to say. Didn't even get in my trap. Loser. Give me that. Nice. Oh, yeah, that would have been fine. You know, do you want to have a bit of a cheaper room and it's not going to have. I mean, the way they phrase it, the base price of the room is this. And if you want to be able to see outside and also maybe breathe, then have this much so it seems like a no-brainer you know you get the you get the window is it, it wasn't hideously expensive extra is this better i think it might be although the other ones thaw into bleeding and i think that counts when i hit them which means the other weapon does extra damage critical hits Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to stick with what I've got because the I think the combination of items is better than the specific items themselves. Also, did you notice how when I was near my traps, I had a, a one above my head with a sword next to it? I think that's the mutation activating, which means the mutation... We do have a timed door there, by the way, so um, more fool me. <laughs> Eh. Ah. Let's try that. I don't know what invisibility does, but you know, let's just do it. We might as well put some in another one, because there's no point saving them up for the person who can accept cells. That that one has been fine. I can't upgrade this, and I'm happy with the modifier. <laughs> Fifteen percent damage for hits in the back. I like this. I'm, it has lost me one point of brutality uh, of tactics, but ah, and I got it back. Fair enough. It cost me a lot of money. <laughs> I'm worried about there. Um, let's try it with this invisibility for thirteen secondes thing. Um, I was complaining if you would. Indulge me about windows in, in hotel rooms. 
drinking from a glass of water, which I've so often drunk from uh, this particular glass, having uh, either the dandelion and burlock or root beer cordial in it, especially whilst playing Dead Cells, I was actually slightly shocked in internally, like to my core, that uh, it didn't have any such flavor in it. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, sure. I like the fact that they use the word eliminate rather than kill. I remember um, having it made a, like, having it drawn to my attention when I was young and playing um, various, like, Zelda and Mario and things on the Game Boy, that they wouldn't use the word kill an enemy, they would use the term uh, defeat. Keep going, keep going. Nice. This bird is going stress for leather, mate. I don't know what you do, so <laughs> I'm worried. You can stand the heck still. What was that? I didn't like that. I added new enemies and I don't know how they work, so now I'm... Well, I've walked up, so I might as well just keep going. Um, so I don't know how they work, so I don't know how to defend myself against them. Nice. Pretty good, okay, sort of speedy type, killing everything quickish run going on here, but... Hello. Nice. I'm trying to kill a lot of things because it's important. Um, I think that I would very much like to get into one of those... those rooms that that is a, a benefit to at some point. It's all the same to you. So that is why I'm doing this, although I, I can understand how you might think that maybe it's not the greatest of benefits to me right now. I, I got my birdie out and then took damage, which is just tragic, quite honestly. Why is this flying thing so good at dodging? Um, so we got a paid extra. <laughs> paid extra for a hotel room with a window because it's 2019 and basic human conveniences are alien to still a lot of capitalist society that we live in and uh well there are two problems first thing is as you may or may not know the uh concept of radiators the the modern uh heating system that you may or may not have heard of that is uh very much uh assisted should we say by presence of a window so the, the correct thing to do when you install a radiator is to install it beneath a window and you open the window and instead of uh, adding you know, instead of uh, cooling down the room with the cold air outside what it does is it massively assists in the circulation of the warm air coming off the radiator so the, the heating effect of the existence of the radiator is hugely impacted simply by the the presence of the window to the to the extent that you know, not having the window is bad news bears. I don't want to play with that creature, so don't make me go in there, Mum. I don't want to go to school today. I'm not fighting an elite because it's going to do OP and dangerous things to me, which I'm not going to like. So you can't make me, and I'm not going to. Nice. So the radiator in this room, which is a decent radiator somehow, um, is of course at said window. So I paid extra, but what they've done, they're gonna put the radiator on full blast. So the first thing, bear in mind, the reason we've got this hotel room is because um, at stupid o'clock in the morning on Friday, we're gonna to have to go to the hospital uh, for a procedure that we're not very confident about, you know, because Ooh. There we go. Um, you know, we, we just have no experience of it. We don't know what's going to happen. It could be horrible. You know, it could be the end of the world. Uh, I mean, in the end, it turned out not to be, but confidence was not high. Let's put it that way, right? I like that they aggro the thingies. 
the 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 biters. Um, so we're we're hecking anxious. <laughs> is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, let's see if there's any good traps. Nothing we can afford, and nothing I care to buy. We're hacking anxious, and it's no fun. So, and we've left the night before, obviously, because we needed to be near the hotel at early o'clock in the morning, which is why we got the hotel in the first place. Um, so that we could be... We, we don't want to travel all the way down to... Something's causing poison, and I love it. All the way down to London at ridiculous time of the morning and then um, you know for a procedure that we're anxious about we'd rather be there the night before and, and be ready for it and have hopefully some sleep before we got there uh, not to be <laughs> as you can imagine by the fact that I'm going on about this story this was not the case in fact we got there um, about half past 11 at night and bear in mind we weren't underprepared you know, it's not like we hadn't packed everything up as soon as we could, but most of the stuff we wanted to take, we needed. Um, there's a lot to be said for the idea of um, Ah, you got me! There's a lot to be said for the idea of having basically a copy of everything that you own, just so that you can take some with you if you ever need to travel anywhere. Um, <laughs> to keep it in the car sort of job. Nice. Yes. <laughs> I'm tempted to. After a palaver like this, I, I basically want to go back, put everything, just leave it in the car, and if you need to go somewhere, then go. Um, that would be fine. I don't mind this idea. Uh, and it's probably going to help in the next few months anyway, you know, by January, when the Civil War starts. We're going to need <laughs> places to go and a, and a way to get there. But until then... Uh, it's just very helpful to have it so that you can leave as soon as you get home from work. Because the thing is, I wasn't home from work, you know. Half the problem was that I wasn't home from work, and nor would I be, um, until 7 o'clock on Thursday night. So, oh, I thought it was a door. It wasn't a door. Um, so <laughs> Not wanting to, you know, drive all morning, and yet therefore being forced to drive all night. I still had a lot to do when I got home because we didn't have, say, go back. So we didn't end up getting there. It's like two hours away. You know, it's not like it's... I don't know. You know, it's not like it's around the corner. In fact, it was around the corner once we got the hotel, which is the whole point. Anyway. Paper window. Radiator underneath window. Full temperature... <laughs> um, full temperature room. Absolutely sweltering. Um... But, okay, so let's rewind a little bit because the worst parts, to some extent, were not even, we haven't even got to the hotel room before the worst part struck. Um, Jen has got a disabled badge, a blue badge, so that she can park in spaces specifically designed for people who have accessibility needs, which is not the same as being disabled, although disabilities are, is, is a varied word, right? We know that now. We're, we're, we're grown-ups. We've grown beyond um, being petty about who is and is not allowed to be called disabled, right? We're an enlightened species. Not all disabilities are visible, and in Jen's case, many of them are, uh, depending on how she's feeling, and she's feeling extremely anxious and in great pain, which is why we're going to the hospital. Then it's uh, difficult. So we want to park near the hotel. There's only a small car park at this hotel because, uh, see previous, it's a, a dive. Um, so we, we pull up, and we've been here before, and I knew this. So I don't know why I tried, but I, I thought, ah, there is, a, there is an accessible bay. We should... Um, go that way? Maybe. Let's see what else there is. There is an accessible bay. We should park in the accessible bay. It's called an accessible bay because it's the first bay in, in the place. Hello. Burns enemies. We're bleeding or poisoned. We've already got victims with top cloud with each hit. So the first hit with our stiletto is enough. We don't need that, and it is against my religion to use that, so I'm not gonna. <clears throat> um, 
we need to pull into the space. This space with the little wheelchair symbol in it, excuse me, thirsty, is n one of the narrowest spaces in the place. <laughs> Kid you not. It is, I, it is so narrow, and it, Jen's got a large car. Oh, what am I looking at this for? Um, Jen's got a, a decently large car, sure, but let's upgrade to this. Better. Oh, I ruined it. <laughs> Leading off. Well, that doesn't matter because this this is actually now um, synergizes with itself, so we don't actually need to keep the thingy thing. This is school cooldowns. So I'm going to think maybe I'm going to take this because our hourly is going to help you. I don't need that. Bother me. I'm going to need it afterwards. <laughs> um, we can't fit Jen's car into the disabled bay, into the accessible bay. It's in disabled bay. It's really inaccessible bay. This accessible bay is so inaccessible that I cannot fit the car in it let alone the person with accessibility requirements. Right? Riddle me this. What does accessible mean in the rest of the world? Because to this place, it doesn't mean very much so. Uh, ow, I rolled, but you did nothing. Makes me a sad panda. Take all the hits. Whoops, let me out. You know this thing's patterns. Why are you being silly? Keep going. Whoop. Give me my bird back. And then you jump. And then we put this down. We use the bird again. And we lose it immediately because I didn't realize it was doing a fire. Because I've never played this game before. Okay, so here we are. We've approached the hospital. The rest. Nope. First things that happens. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to use all my words at once. It's not correct. First thing that happens is we pull into the hotel. But what's really happened is we pulled into the drop-off area because there's no indication that the obvious entrance to the hotel, which pulls up in front of the hotel and... Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, nice try. No, but nice try. Um, usually... Now, don't get me wrong. I understand that not all hospitals, uh, not all hotels, hospitals, I've got a hospital, I'm, it's too late for me. Um, no, that's not very many cells at all. Not all hotels have the same layout in terms of parking and what have you, but, oh wait, we haven't got any. Um, I would at least expect, <laughs> if it's all the same to you, uh, that we can just drive into the car park, right? So. The front of the hotel is quite small. It's a pretty small hotel in general. It's very tall, but the footprint is tiny. Um, why have I gone this way? I, I'm obviously a masochist. So we're in, we're in the hotel and we've got the footprint. Okay, so there's a tiny little footprint of a... Um, tiny little footprint of a hotel. So we're there trying to... Well, let's see if this... Yes, it did. Nice. So the bird is basically reducing its own cooldowns, which is stupendous. Fantabulous. Uh, I don't want that. Um, right. Talking about this hotel with a weird footprint. Uh, you pull in front of the hotel and there's a drop-off point there, which is where your Uber drivers and stuff like that are going to pull in your taxis, your your food that you order to be delivered to the hotel. Fine, that's normal. It, it goes directly into the car park, which is just a small slip of land down the side of the hotel. You know, hardly, hardly worth even mentioning, except for the fact that it is the car park, so you need to know about it. Um... So, here we are, hotel, car park, etc, etc. So where is this thing that is making things impossible? Nice, nice, nice. We, the, the, the 
place in front of the car park. I was gesticulating, if you don't very much mind. Um, the, the place at the car park where, where you would drop people off is directly into the actual car park. How dare you? I, you were trapped. Actually, if it's all the same to you. There you are. Very good. I would not like to have come across with this baddie here, so if you're ever so kind. Uh, I'd be grateful if you would. Oh, well, I don't need to do that. Nice. That's 30 already. This bird is OP. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that there was a car already parked there. Now, there is another entrance to the car park. The other entrance to the car park involves um, going through a barrier, which opens automatically. Right? So essentially, it's irrelevant whether you choose to... Oh, shit. Um, it's irrelevant whether you choose to go into the car park by means of the one or the other, basically. Right? Come on. Not you. <laughs> Where's the thingy? We get it? We got it. Yes. Yeah. So you, you can go into the car park, like, physically, by means of either the one or the other. But somebody has parked in between the car park itself. By the way, this uh, frost blast is doing us no good. And the reason it's doing us no good is that our bird keeps shooting the things, so we can't maintain freeze on anything. And it isn't helpful because we're already getting poison from the sword itself. I'm not going to fight an elite. You can't make me. Range. Yes. Oh, now I wish I'd picked that up in the first place. Ooh. Um, so we've pulled up to the hotel at this point, and we've just, you know, we can't get in <laughs> because we want to park, but there's someone parked in the way, and we assume that the person who's parked in the way is just a guest who's gone into the front because it's the pulling up space, and the pulling up space feeds directly into the car park. Uh, bear in mind, if you pull into the pulling in space, you have to reverse out of it. Uh, I was hoping for something. Or something. Okay. Yeah, you can't just drive through. It's not like those big posh ones where you... It's not like the Ritz, you know. You can't drive into the pulling in space and then drive out forwards. No, 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 no. You have to drive in and then reverse out like a scrub. I do not like this. Some I am. So this is where... Right, I remember this go all the way back to the beginning and now you have to fight everything all over again except this time it's got those horrendous bastards of golems and stuff like that so uh if you if everything went silent it was not just you it was me as well or maybe vice versa depending on how you want to look at it was it you as well i guess is my question nice i'm glad we fought that golem with the bird on full uh full steam ahead you know I'm being extra careful here, so I'm going to probably be a little bit quieter, although I do want to get through the story because I'm concentrating. I would like to say that I am a, amazing at this game and can beat it, beat this uh, level without taking one hit in 60. I haven't been here yet. Uh, I guess we take mm, random skills? I can't afford anything. 90% off? I don't think so. So, what was it? You can't get out, basically. Once you're in, you're in. And you're stuck. You know, happy, happy Christmas. Ooh, I forgot I paid for this. So, you, now we're, so, here we are, stuck in the middle with you. Oh, it's excellent timing. Um, here we are, stuck with <laughs> this ludicrous situation where we are now parked in the front of the hotel waiting for somebody who we assume is going to move soon to do so uh wondering what to do so we go in uh, you know wait in a while and we end up saying you know help um no 
Guy, you have ruined everything and I hate you. I'll not be opening that. I was doing so well and I thought that I was basically invincible against golems because I had done so well in the past, but it is not to be. Oh, hello. Yeah, thought so. Supposed to go down the middle of that. I would have ruined it myself anyway, but maybe I wouldn't have been so complacent, you know? So here we are in front of parked up and I just want to get in. <laughs> Please let me in. No, won't let me in. Uh, because he says, you know, the car park's around the side. Like, what are you talking about? So we have to reverse out of this silly, silly place onto a main road. At which point, of course, the entire flaming bloody, you know, the whole population of Camden has shown up trying to drive into this hotel or park up this road or what the hell ever. So we're trying to reverse and there's people just dithering around, walking nice and slowly. You're like, oh, I don't know. And we have got a beeper on this car so that you know that it's reversing. So don't even give me that, you know. Uh, let's go the long way to open this chest. Don't even give me this, oh, I didn't know crap, you know. People just don't care. I'm trying to reverse and I'm stressed and I'm tired because it's getting on for 11 o'clock at night and I've just driven for two hours in this car that I hate driving and the only reason we do drive it is because you know we can fit so much more in it and including the wheelchair which we didn't take we took the dog crate instead but that's not the point point is it's a disabled it's a registered disabled car right so you you can't complain about it <laughs> even the government isn't allowed to complain about it even though it's a gas guzzler I rolled that. No killing me. Didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. No. Um. So, we're stuck in this. Go try to reverse. Where was I? Yeah, tired, bored, hate driving this car. It's loud. It's heavy, you know, it's difficult to maneuver because you can't turn the wheel because the car's so heavy. It doesn't have modern power steering. Um, you know, et cetera and, and sundry. I challenge you to find a reason that this car is any good except for the size of it and the, the, the basically the pulling capability. Also, it's an off-road vehicle, but we... No! Ah, feck. No! Just die. <laughs> I've had enough. Let me out. Uh, yes. Sell this. So I, I, I've just had enough of everything and everyone. <laughs> At this point, just go away and leave me alone. This is my attitude towards the whole world right now. Go away and leave me alone. I've had enough. I don't care about your nonsense. This is a tentacle. Ignore shields and protect you towards you. Make it for you. Attack again while bumped. No. It was good last time. I remember. Don't get me wrong. I am fully aware of how good that could have been for us. Uh, did, is there, a, there is actually more stuff this way. I'm going to keep exploring because I want as much of an advantage as I can. Plus, it means I get to keep talking. Tired, angry, stressed. Uh, never want to drive this car again, which is still true. <laughs> uh, we're all looking at getting a, a new new car, by the way. But uh, it's a future thing. Um, preferably something with a little bit more noise reduction. Um, soundproofing, I guess, would be the term you'd use for that in a vehicular context. Excuse me, but no. I do like this birdie. I mean, birds are good in general, but this one is particularly good. Because it does all this damage for me, and I don't have to do anything. Except not get hit every 30 seconds, you know? Miss that. Nice. Um, yeah, soundproofing is important on the car because driving down the motorway for that long, oh my god, will the world just go away and shut up? And we've been listening to um, soul music, Pratchett book. Everyone knows it. Don't even pretend you've not heard of soul music. Or indeed Pratchett, or indeed the Discworld. If you haven't, I, I, I do know some people, two people who have ever met, have said that they tried reading Pratchett and didn't get on with it. 
You know what? I'm not going to tell you that you, you haven't. Obligation to like practice it, but to each their own. Those things are just impossible. <laughs> Cannot even. But we tried something new and it went really well, I think. Um, because it was something new. You know, trying something new doesn't always work. We got that far. It was an ambitious thing to try that. Uh, and we have practiced those golems, but not very often. And I was kind of over relying on the bird. And I got stuck because things keep appearing while I move along, which is not something I'm used to or, or sort of ready for. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this bit of the podcast. We will continue the story next time I play the game, but that's not going to be now because it's quite late at night. So I think I'm going to just leave this here. I might play some strafe. Who wants some strafe? Eh, maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you join me in the next one when I will try and continue the story, but I'm probably going to play that tomorrow. Uh, maybe later on tonight. I don't know. So if I forget, I'm sorry. There is more to that story. Uh, but synopsis. Never go to a Britannia hotel. Ever. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.